Well, hey there, all of my feathered friends. Welcome back to the nest. I just uh, wanted to kind of give you this update since I have had my bone scan and on my foot, and I promised to let everyone know what was going on. Um, this is probably one of the hardest announcements that I've ever had to do. And I'm going to try and get through this without a lot of um, tears. <laughs> um, so the bone scan came back as... Um, oh, sorry. We're getting everything crooked here. <laughs> the bone scan came back as not a break. So that is fantastic. My foot is not broken. That's really, really great. Um, but it did come back as having really heavy arthritis, um, like heavy arthritis, and that foot already has um, uh, no cartilage in the ankle, um, and then this heavy arthritis, I've already been banned and then now basically double and triple banned from any kind of running. I'm not allowed to do any running. They would prefer I didn't do any jumping, things like that, uh, because of my foot could just is just going to be easy to go into pain. Um, they suggested that I possibly see a podiatrist, which I agreed to. You know, they said a podiatrist might be able to give me some more information, maybe some pain control. Um, they said I'm going to have to wear, you know, pretty good supportive shoes. Um, I probably should get obsessed with shoe support, um, especially to control the pain. Um, but basically, this arthritis is something that I'm always going to be dealing with. They did talk about possibility of injections and things like that. Um, but I'm always going to have to deal with the pain in my foot. I have been praying over and praying over the idea of what am I supposed to do now with long distance races which is my passion and um, I I prayed for a loud answer and then when I got what I thought was probably the loud answer I didn't really want to hear it because I that's not the answer that I wanted of course that's what we do is we we ask for it and then when God provides it we we don't listen well I think I have to listen now. And I think what I have to do now is officially announce my retirement from long distance races. That's not saying that in a few years when I finally do something about this weight And maybe when there's a little more advancement in arthritis control or pain control or something that maybe I can't do a comeback race. But uh, for now it looks like the retirement from long distance is for good. When I was discussing it, not wanting to think about it that way, um, my beautiful, beautiful friend just had stated, you know, that it seemed like my body had been trying to tell me for a while that I probably should hang up those running shoes. And she was right, but I didn't, I didn't want to hear that so I just kind of tried to not hear that but I feel like it's it's true because I think that the more that I do this the more it's going to hurt um because right now like <laughs> I have been trying to complete a race since 2018 and I have been unsuccessful because of the pain in my foot and then it finally got so bad where I thought it was broken again and thankfully it wasn't and, and now this and while I don't 
want to put up those righteous shoes for good. I think it's the best thing for me. And I just have to know that there's another passion out there for me. There's something else for me to do. There's another way for me to encourage people. And you better believe I'm going to be encouraging people. And those of you who want to run, don't you give up on it. Those of you who want to do long distance races and are too scared, get your booty out there. And if you need a cheerleader, let me be your cheerleader. I will help you to that finish line. I will cheer you on. I will make you a sign. I will be your Facebook cheerleader, whatever you need, because it is thrilling. It's amazing. It's the most wonderful experience ever. And I want everyone to feel that. And I want everyone to have a wall like that and even bigger and even more. So I'm still going to be encouraging people. I still hope to be around the race world and to see other people uh, finish their dreams and, and do their thing. And... Um, well, I'm just going to have to find my new passion. I know I love uh, lifting is great. I'm hoping that my bicep and shoulder heal up enough to where I'm allowed to go back to lifting again. Um, I guess we'll just find out. We'll, we'll be in this together and we'll find out. And, you know, if there's a different workout path, we're going to go on it together. I'm, we're going to figure this out together. But this has been a very difficult situation, very difficult um decision and I'm I'm glad I got to share it with you guys uh, so I know this has been kind of a a long sad video and I'm sorry but you know it's one that I had promised would go out there and now it's out there and I'm not going to take it back and um, I don't know now I have the rolling this together song playing over in my head so maybe I need to go listen to that uh anyways um uh, I'm not gonna let this get me down or keep me down uh we're gonna figure something else out and hopefully my foot will be good enough and okayed by the podiatrist to do smaller races like uh 5k's and things so I can still at least be out there doing a little bit of something um, I know that for now they would like me to minimalize my weight bearing exercises. So, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, anyways, uh, I told you I was going to share the ups and the downs with you. So there you go. And, um, all right. Well, until next time, I thank you guys so much for stopping by the nest. It means the world to me that you guys are checking out my videos. I love you all so much, and take care of yourselves, take care of each other, be happy, be healthy, and remember that I love all of you so, so much. Bye, guys.